have right here in front of me the brand new Apple Vision Pro. And in this video, we're going to be putting it to a test to see how well can I actually use this to go about my day-to-day -day creative work. And to do that, we're going to be recreating one of my PowerPoint tutorials right inside the Apple Vision Pro. And you want to wait to the end of this video because I want to give away to one lucky subscriber a free VR headset so that you can also experience virtual reality for yourself. So if you're not subscribed to this channel, now might be a good time to do that and wait till the end of the video. I'm going to give you instructions on how you can win one. Let's get started. All right, welcome to my special computing uh, space. So I have PowerPoint open here. So this is the native PowerPoint app. That's what it looks like. And I can resize it by just pinching my hands up, make it as big as I want. And to the right here, I have my video. So the video where I do talk about <laughs> how to use PowerPoint to create awesome animations, it's right here. And if I just look at the play button, so right now I'm looking at the play button, I'm gonna pinch my finger. I'm pretty sure one of the images that come And the video starts playing. It's so accurate that I can look at the red dot right there and forward it. It's, it's just incredible how, they, how they've done this. So I have my notes here to kind of help me with what I wanna create on PowerPoint. And then I have a reference image, obviously, from the tutorial. If you cannot watch that tutorial, by the way, definitely go watch it. It's a great tutorial. So what I'm going to create real quick, very quick, and this is not going to be very detailed. I'm just playing around to see how well you can do this. It's a little PowerPoint presentation to pitch uh, my new candy bar, the Apple snack bar. We have all been there. Late nights at work, so hungry, you just need a snack. But yet, you don't want to spend hours at the gym afterward. Welcome to the future of snacking, designed with your convenience and endless customization in mind. I present the Apple Snack. Zero sugar, zero calories. Because you have to buy those separately. So what I'm actually just doing right now is just using my eyes to look at where I want to click and then pinching my finger. That's how I'm navigating. So I've looked at the images. I want to add a background image. I'm going to open my photos. Let's add that. We're going to add the little guy there. And I'm just looking and clicking. This is actually really amazing. I'm just looking at the image and click. So I'm not going to go up to add, look at that and click. All right. As in, this is pretty cool. So we're actually going to go outside at some point to test this out like on the go. So I can see that this image, oh, let's go back to PowerPoint. It's supposed to be somewhere right here. Okay. Pretty cool. And then we have, okay, the table is on the, so let's look at that back. Okay, so the table is uh, right here on the corner like so. And I, I'm just gesturing with my hands. This is, <laughs> it's kind of crazy right now. That's pretty cool. So I have my first initial, what do you call it, page. We're going to try something else that we did in the video, which is um, inserting an image. So let's go to image. Uh, let's do online photos. All right, so I'm going to do Bing search. So I'm just clicking. So there are two ways you can actually type on this. I can look at the words. So I want to do a burger. So I'm looking at B, oops, and pinching. That's pretty much amazing. I can also poke my hands, burger. And of course, I can also just uh, illustration. So you could use see this. So those are the three ways you can type from this. All right, so there's a few, insert that. Ah, nice. So again, I'm just, oh my, this is so, <laughs> I'm just looking at the corner and dragging. This is, ah, this is so cool. This is so cool. Oh, oops, I looked at the wrong place. There we go. Uh, can I insert shapes that, hold on, wait a minute, can, do they have the shapes? Sh oh, there are shapes. Oh, okay, yeah, they do have it. They have the top bubble. So let's use, oh, nice. I must say, this, it's not the whole click to look around thing. <laughs> it's not necessarily the most convenient way. So if I was using this, I'd probably, this would make sense if I could pair a keyboard to this. Let's play around adding animations to this, right? So I would maybe just have it pop up. So I'm going to the animation tabs. So they have exit, entrance effect. Uh, so I want them to just fly in. So it's pretty much like your standard PowerPoint. Okay. And uh, how, do they have the, so they don't have the, they don't have the animation pane. I'm actually literally trying this out for the first time. So, uh, so they don't have the animation pane. So I guess the only way you can actually test this would be to play it. All right, let's play it and see what we have so far. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so let's, I guess, pinch my finger to click. No? Okay. Um, is there a, okay. I cannot figure out. <laughs> How do you, I would think that you just look and click. That would have made sense, but apparently not. All right, so let's, 
I think there's something wrong with the way the PowerPoint app has been designed in the Vision Pro and not really a problem with the Vision Pro itself. But anyways, I used my mouse and I was able to control it. So as you can tell from the recording, I was doing this in my living room and at this point, I was greeted with the very delightsome cries and screams of my two little daughters. So I'm going to voice over the rest of this demo. So pretty much right here, I was testing out copying something from my phone into the Vision Pro. So I just went over to the phone and did a copy and on the Vision Pro, I did a paste. And as you can see, boom, that actually worked. That was pretty cool. And you can do this with your iPad, your laptop and other devices. You can copy them vice versa. So next, actually, I'm going to try to do some transitions. So I'm going to copy the character and paste them out in the gym and then scale them up. And if you want to know why I'm doing this again, watch that tutorial. I explain all of this. That's because I'm going to try now to use the morph uh, transition. And this is where I try to figure out where the transition was. And as you can see, they do have actually transition effect. And right there, we do have the morph transition. So I added the morph transition. As you can see, he morphed into the next scene. And the whole idea is that it's supposed to be now from the office to the gym. And he doesn't like that. So next, we're just going to create the last scene. And for this, I actually used ChatGPT. So ChatGPT using DALI generated for me a nice image of what my candy bar will look like. An apple candy bar. You get a joke? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. So I just downloaded this and it actually saved it from the browser to my pictures folder. So I'm going to head over back to PowerPoint and go to insert picture and actually insert that image. And we're going to put a nice transition into it. So next, let's head out to my car and actually see how well this works editing on the go. All right, so I'm right here in my car and this is probably a use case that probably makes a little bit more sense for this. So I can picture probably I have somebody else driving me and I'm heading somewhere and I need to create a presentation and I can still move this around. So, I mean, this looks great, but it's probably a little bit distracting because the car is small. So I'm actually going to try the immersive mode. So if I turn the little crown on the top, it's going to put me in a new environment. So right now, as you can see, I'm out here. I think this is somewhere in Nevada, somewhere in the desert. So I cannot see anything in the car. And this is probably a very good way to just edit. And I can see this being useful because um, even though it's not very comfortable using the hands to move around, but definitely I think this makes a lot of sense. I could see myself doing this. Maybe I'm waiting for somebody in the bus station or something, wherever. Just immerse yourself, do your work. Pretty cool. This use case, this I do see myself doing. Makes a lot more sense than what we just did previously. All in all, that was actually not bad. But before I actually close that, I want to show you guys something pretty cool. So we're going to take all of this and open it on Apple Keynotes because they have a virtual environment where you can actually test presenting your presentation in virtual rooms. So I'm going to select here the Steve Jobs Theater. I know it's VR, but it just feels very real. And if I turn right here to the back, my PowerPoint presentation is right there, very big, right here, as you can see. So I can have that and I can use a clicker to sort of practice my presentation. And I see this being useful, actually. If you're someone who gives presentation among, like with a big audience, this could be very useful. That's pretty cool. And you can just click through and present. It would have actually been nice if they had like some virtual characters. So in case you have like stage fright or something that helps you with that, but still very cool. I cannot explain how real <laughs> this feels. I actually feel like I'm right here in this theater. All in all, that wasn't so bad. Now, again, I don't think I would use this on a day to day walk. It's just a little bit more efficient to just do that directly on the computer. But if I could see myself if I was on the go, and quickly wanted to use this to like create or edit some work I'm doing, then it works perfectly well for that. Really, 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 really great. All right, to the exciting news, as promised in the beginning of this video, I wanna give a free VR headset to one of you, my lucky subscribers. And this is part of my 150,000 subscriber milestone giveaway. So I've been giving away a couple of licenses already, but in this video, I wanna give away a free VR headset. Actually, for a while now, I've been thinking about creating VR tutorials on this channel. But now that we have the Apple Vision Pro out, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of attention on AR and VR. So it seems like a good time for me to actually start creating those tutorials. So by the next couple of weeks, expect to see some tutorials on how you can create 3D content that can be loaded on VR and loaded 
uploaded on AR. But before that, I want to help one of you experience this VR for the very, very first time. So I want to do that by sending you your very own VR headset. Now, it's not going to be the Apple Vision Pro. These things are way too expensive for me right now to be able to give out. But I'm going to be giving away the Meta Quest 2. It's still a very great VR headset and it's a good first VR headset to actually have. Uh, it's not as good as the Apple Vision Pro, but still very great headset. I've had that actually for a while, used it, a great headset. And I want to give that to one of you to win. It's quite simple. You have to be subscribed to this channel, of course. That's the first requirement. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button right there. And then give this video a thumbs up and just let me know down in the comments why you want this VR headset. Over the next couple of days, I'm going to pick one lucky subscriber and I'm going to send this over to you wherever you are in the world. So good luck to everybody. And I hope that you get to win this. I'm going to catch you in the next video. Make sure you keep learning. Bye-bye.